Hey, I'm Corinne and I'm the founder of Speckled, the tool that helps PMs build the right thing at the right time. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to research and design new features. This is a really big question. We're going to try to be figuring out what customers want, which is the whole research part of the question. And then we're also going to be figuring out how to design a solution that meets these customer wants. And in the middle, we're actually going to add a little step that's going to help us connect the two. This is a big process. This is probably going to take you a couple of weeks to really go from start to finish on this. Doing the research is super important and it's going to help you find the ideas and insights that you're going to need, understanding how the ideas are going to potentially impact your business and your product is also a super key point. And then finally, you're also going to work on designing things. A lot of this is taken from the Google design sprint. Go ahead and Google Google designs. And obviously it will be the first thing that comes up because it's Google. And if you want to have some more exercises that you can do in addition to the ones that I'm going to talk about in a second, this is a good place to find them. All right. So first up research. You all know what this starts with, and it is customer interviews. Don't put these off, please. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm guilty of sometimes putting them off because it can be tedious. A lot of time is spent trying to get them set up. Sometimes people are no-shows. You have to prepare with a list of questions and do a lot of listening, note-taking, recording, etc. But you can't skip this step. So just go ahead interview a handful of customers and you're going to have more than enough ideas and insights to work with for the rest of the design sprint. So you've researched, you've talked to customers, you have a bunch of ideas, you have some snippets that they've said that really stick out in your mind. What's next? Well, the next thing you can do is figure out which of these ideas, snippets, insights are going to have the most impact on your business. One way to do this is to use the reverse press release technique. And I've talked about this in other videos, so I'm not going to go in depth in it, but basically what you're going to do is take some of the most promising ones. You're going to write a press release, not a real press release. This isn't going out to anyone, but this is going to help you figure out what about this idea, insight, potential solution is exciting to the potential customer and what kind of value they're going to get out of this feature. So once you've done that for a few of them or just one of them, the next step is to start designing. So this isn't jumping right into a single design. What we're going to do here is a design exercise called crazy eights. And this is going to help you get out of that initial thought that you have when it comes to designing a feature, you probably thought of how it's going to look and work while you were writing the press release. And that's great. That's fine. You know, we all do it, but it's not all the time that that first version is the best version of the design. So what you're going to do in this exercise is you're going to create eight different ways of solving the problem. So you're going to get your pen and paper out. You're going to wireframe things up, write things out, and you're going to come up with eight different ideas. You may get stuck around five or six, but I'll tell you seven or eight are going to be really crazy ways to solve the problem that just may work. <laughs> and then after you've designed it, it is time to go prototype it or develop it up to you. And then you just got to iterate on the cycle and <laughs> go back to doing some more customer interviews, go back to making sure that it's exciting, making sure that the design flows, the UX works, and you just keep going and going and going. That's it for today. We talked about how to research, shape, and design new features. If you like this content, be sure to check out our other content at our blog. It's at getspeckled.com slash blog. And we also have a newsletter, so drop your email there and we'll send out a weekly newsletter with the top three stories of the week for PMs at small software companies. And in the meantime, happy research and designing.